Hi. Um, so a lot of times when I get introduced at a stand-up comedy show, they'll say, you know her from 24. And um, that's not really a funny show. <laughs> so, and as soon as I open my mouth and start talking, I know there's a couple of people out there that are like, wow, she really isn't a computer genius. And I'm not, you guys, okay? I mean, I, okay, on 24, I played a computer genius who can save the world from a terrorist attack using only her computer. I've never hacked into any governmental files. I've never stopped a nuclear bomb using a computer. I wasn't even really typing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, every once in a while I would type something, but if I did, it would just be a positive affirmation to myself. So the crap would be hitting the fan on the show, and I'd be like, I'm on it. Copy that. You look really pretty today, Mary Lynn. <laughs> Downloading facial recognition software. I'm going as fast as I can. You're doing a really good job acting. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Also, don't take Kiefer's intensity so personally. <laughs> he really does like you. He's just busy acting right now, right? <laughs> I mean, it helped me, uh, helped me a lot, but the other characters would come over hoping to see the hacked in government files and they would just see, you are a divine child of God. <laughs> mm, love and light surround you always. That's the kind of crap that's going on in my head. Um, so I'm going on the road doing stand-up comedy soon and my reps, I have an agent and a manager, it's no big deal, you guys. But they said, uh, hey, Mary Lynn, what's your brand? And I think that was their way of saying, we don't know if we can sell any tickets of you doing stand-up comedy. Can you help us sell you? So I was like, hmm, my brand, my brand, what is it? <laughs> well, uh, I'm a nice white lady. <laughs> That's it. That's my brand. <laughs> I can be NW squared. <laughs> I think it could be good, you guys, because it'll be like, remember that, uh, you know you're a redneck, if yeah, that thing, I'll have mine and my whole set will just be like a list of all that type of stuff like that. So I'll be like, you know you're a white woman in her 40s if you still think earth, wind, and fire is cool. <laughs> you know you're a white woman in her 40s if you put the seat warmers on in your Mazda and you think that makes you loose. You know you're a white woman in her 40s if you think that sleeping with one black guy makes you not racist. <laughs> he was the only black guy at the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> I thought there were two guys that just were hanging out with each other, and then I realized I was just drunk, so... It was just the one guy, and we didn't really sleep together. We slept next to each other in a tent, and there were a bunch of other people there, and we just touched hands. And um, I did touch his sword, but it was a real sword, because he was a knight at the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> I think that's going to work as my brand. Um, so I live in the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles, and that means we keep our pool open all winter. Sorry, I'm not trying to be in your face with that. But um, the other day, my son pushed me in the pool, fully clothed. I know. He's nine. I uh, went right in the house and got on my laptop and just wiped out his 529 college savings plan. <laughs> it cost me 10% to get the money out, but I was so cold and wet and angry that I didn't give a crap. I just went right to the most expensive site I could think of, which was Gucci.com, and I bought a travel mug. <laughs> That's all I could afford. That's all the money I had in his account. And then I see him, like, cowering in the corner, and I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, aren't you going to try to push me in the pool? And I said, no, you'll get it later when you try to go to college. <laughs> you'll get the pays backs, pays backs. Then, um... Well, took a, I had a nap the other day. Thanks. <laughs> Give it up for naps, everybody. <laughs> right? They're good. And I don't mean like, oh, I took a 20-minute nap. I'm refreshed. I'm talking about when you take a two, three-hour chunk out of the day. <laughs> right? You know you're doing something right in life when you can afford to just nap like that right in the middle of the day. I mean, maybe there's some depression, but... <laughs> 
I do it. I enjoy it. You're really rolling the dice when you black out and nap like that, you know? It might be dark when, it w- when you wake up. You're like, did I miss the whole day? You might wake up on the wrong side of the nap, like, oh, I can't wake up again. But I woke up from this one feeling pretty good. And I looked around and thought, my house is beautiful. I live in a really nice place. And then I realized I had fallen asleep in Pottery Barn. Um, <laughs> on their example bed, in their fake room, again. I know it's confusing. You guys are looking at me, you're like, Marilyn Rice Cub, you're an international superstar. <gasps> right, that's what you're thinking. You're like, Marilyn Rice Cub, why would you even set foot into a pottery barn? That's not you, it's just, it's so colorful, you guys. And I just think that like, I need napkin rings and placemats, ah! and then I got tired, I guess. Um, But yes, I do my own shopping. People can't believe it. Sometimes people, I've had somebody come up to me and go, "Uh, aren't you going to be on the new 24? I'm like, no, they didn't ask me. They're like, come on, tell us. And I'm like, no, would I be here right now if I was on it? (laughs) No, I would not. Um, So, oh, I've also had a person say to me, hey, aren't you set for life? All the money you made off of being on 24? Can you believe that? The, the gall of some, I know you guys are wondering it, so I'll just tell you, yeah, I made a lot of money working in TV. Okay, there, I said it. And also, uh, I spent that money. <laughs> it, it's just money, right? It's pretty easy to do, and it's not that much, you know? It was a lot to me, because uh, I'm from Trenton, Michigan, and I don't know what it's like to have money or make money, or I don't know how to do stuff like that. I didn't know what an avocado was until I was 34 years old. (laughs) So they gave me the contract and I was like, four grand, (laughs) sign me up, right? And they gave me another piece of paper and they're like, your likeness in perpetuity, we we want it. And I I thought, what do I need that for? (laughs) So my face is on a pinball machine. I had no idea until I ran into it. And there's a picture of me on the side looking all forlorn, my hair is blowing, I'm like, oh, my mouth is open. That's not the picture I would have chosen, but uh, that's all right. Do I receive a cut of that quarter every time some prepubescent boy puts it in that old-timey machine and puts his sticky fingers up against the side and thrusts his pelv up against it? No, I do not. But just knowing that that's happening, that's all the payment I need. I'm in it for the art, you guys. And don't feel bad, you know, I drive a Mazda with seat warmers, as I said earlier, so I'm not trying to be in your face with that, but I'm pretty cool. Also, I have a great lifestyle, you know? I go into Walmart and I just get whatever I want. I don't even look at the price. 12 pack of hot dogs, get it in. I mean the basket, sorry, that was weird. Um, Underwear, I'll take it, you know? Recently, the last time I was there, I bought a hundred pack box of hefty trash bags, vanilla scented, huh? I know, that was super luxurious. So now every time I take my trash out, it's like a day at the spa. That's all for me, thanks a lot everybody. You guys are amazing. Marilyn Rice Cup. Thank you so much, Marilyn.